Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Green Hell. Let's uh let's drop these out the There we go. Drop them out the way slightly and uh get the rattlesnake meat cooking up. So these are big cat meat soups. Uh looking incredibly tasty. Uh we have very bad stuff in here, so we're tired. We need to sleep. I think we'll sleep. We'll drink some meat soup. Uh, I'll wait for this to to be cooked, and then I'll I'll put the fire out, and we'll relight it in the morning with our dried leaf piles. We've got a, we've got a little bit of time. We could we could do a bit more on our like miniature shelter thing. Way, way more than we need. I say we could do a little bit more, but actually, if there's no, no long sticks, then that's going to be tricky. There's a long. There's a long. These two will do for a start. Oh. Three longs. I was not expecting that. Maybe one of them was from before. Or did I? <gasps> oh my god, you can cut logs into long sticks. I did not know that. Oh, that makes all the harvesting and everything we've done. Yeah, you can you can rest in a moment, mate. Uh, let's destroy this so it's not in the way. So unnecessary. I have I have pain in my soul from that. Let's get ourselves a little platform going on it. So does that mean there's one more long stick up here? At the very least, we'll grab the liana. There it is. Look, there it is. And a plank. Two planks, actually. So we could make a storage box. Well, no, we'd, we'd need mud, and that's that's a level of effort that I'm not willing to go to for this uh, this base. This is just supposed to be like a little forward operating base. Okay, let's let's put the fire out. Rust snake meat will do for the morning. Wait, how have we ended up with parasites? Let's kill those parasites. It's just bad luck. Oh, from from eating while dirty. That's how. From eating while dirty. Let's wash up and then we'll. Go to sleep. We do sort of need some carbs. We've got a leech on us as well. Almost certainly. Man, being able to cut logs into smaller parts. If only I'd known. Okay, no leech on there. No leech on there. No leech on that leg. There you are. <sighs> Be gone. Horrible things. Let's get some sleep and then we'll decide what we're going to do next. I think we'll probably move on from here. We need to keep exploring the jungle. Oh, 
I'll get a full full load of sleep. So we need a bit of everything. Let's start with soup. Delicious. Could do with a teeny bit more water. So let's get ourselves another fire. And boil some up and then, then we don't need to worry about it. Of course, the rain starts as soon as I've done that. All these juice cleanses. Totally gone. Okay. Drink, drink. And we can load this up into the coconut. That could be catching some more. And while that's catching some more, let's uh, try and get this finished off. I don't think I really want to carry the planks with me. Can I? hack the planks into anything. Doesn't look like it. I suppose I could destroy the stumps, but then that'll stop the trees from coming back completely. Double threat. So we've got the, uh, the warriors and this blighter. Come on, let me harvest you. Don't worry, mate. I am leaving. I will leave you to whatever it is you're doing. I'm going to go down here to get some... Uh, some long sticks and do some cutting down on the lower level. It's pretty efficient, all things considered. Like being able to break them up to make, uh, firstly, a really good plank and also a couple of long sticks at the same time. Okay, do we have enough rope for this? We need two more. There we go, these will do. this filled up at all. No, it has not. That's a shame. But we, while we're here, we may as well cook up some more of the meat and go get the, uh, the logs to finish that off. One, there is two, there's a coconut that fell as well. Three logs. We'll come back for the coconut in just a moment. Leaving some meat soup here for the future would actually be really a smart idea. Okay, this this place is looking a lot better.
we need carbs, but that's that's about it. I'm happy to leave this fire burning for now. So let's get a Badoon full. Oh yeah, the coconut. The other coconut. We are not leaving that behind. We'll eat these as well for the extra sanity and carbs. And then let's go leave ourselves a present for the future. Yeah, they're under the shelter, so they're not going to fill up there. Which is fine. I mean, that's kind of what I was expecting. So, uh, this is the un... This is, this is clean. This is just a regular coconut. That is the unsafe... So we'll fill this up properly. And we'll fill that up. We'll drink this and harvest it. If we leave these bowls here... We can leave them out in the rain a little bit. So at the very least, they'll be getting some rain water on them. Uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's actually make some bone broth. That's what we'll do. We'll make some bone broth and we'll just leave the bone broth here by the fire. Reduces food poisoning, reduces fever, it's got protein, it's got fat, it's got everything. In fact, you know what, we could we could use some of that right now for ourselves. I'm gonna refill the bidoon and we'll make some more. when we come back to this, knowing that we've got this already is just going to be so handy. So bone in the bone broth, bone in the bone broth. It reduces our weight as well, which is great. Okay, all good. All good. It's improving our cooking as well, so that should speed things up for the future. Let's put the fire out. Okay, these are never going to go off. It's it's really quite handy. Okay, let's let's hop up on top and have a think about where we could go. Ah, uh, jeez. So, can't get up to Lambda 2. This is like all natives. We could try fighting our way through there, but I think 
heading back to our main base and like carrying on exploring the jungle is going to be the the way to do it. If we do like a left wall hug, that might be for the best. Let's uh let's make our way back to our main base and we'll go from there. We'll try and grab a banana on the way. Speaking of bananas. That is more bananas than we need. I am very happy with that. not just the one, there is a few of them there, so we're going to give them a wide berth. We probably want to have gone down. Hello, I'm going to harvest you up. Yeah, we probably wanted to go down. Um... Oh jeez, we've got Leech Sonus. As that was a relatively gentle descent. We'll just come over here and then we'll find the leech. One, two, and three. Ugh. I mean, this in itself is, is not too terrible. Get the spear out rather than the boat. Hi, Mystery Snail. You are today's appetizer. Though there is nothing appetizing about you at all. for a bit of energy. I wonder if you die if you uh, run out of sanity. Okay, we don't need to go up there. But it might be smart for us to cross now. More nuts on the way. Our old nuts might be getting close to expiring. Oh, we get some fruit as well. Got to get that vitamin C. Now, I know we've called it orange, but I have no idea if it is actually an orange. Ant Hill. Oh my god. You can take ant hills? What, what do you do with ant hills? I have so many questions and so many concerns. I feel like I've kind of lost my bearings a little bit. On the plus side, it's a relatively enclosed area. So there's only so far wrong that you can go. And there is our base. Cool. Our 
our base, which is in a really handy position, actually. Like, all things considered, this is a great spot for where we want to be going and exploring. Let's hurry on over. Seeing as we're here by the drying rack, you know what, I might change this over to, to another doorway one. I think that will that will be a bit better for us. Okay, armadillo meat can be drying. That stingray meat is good for a while. Let's eat some of the rattlesnake meat. That's got clean water in. This is empty. Eat the one nut that's a bit old. So yeah, I think we're we're good actually even to go exploring. Oh, and we've left ourselves some meat soup here as well. Aren't we kind? Okay, well knowing what I do about axes and logs. Maybe we'll take the time to do another wall section or another couple of wall sections. It's so much easier. Yeah, we're, let's, let's do some mudding. Let's do some mudding. The more we get this place finished off, the, the happier I am. And if we're going to do it anywhere, here is the best place by far. Get some fresh mud. In the river bed, get some more mud, use the ash from the campfire that we had. Okay, then I need to fill the badoon. We'll keep the fresh water one with us. Well, actually, I mean, we could just. We could just boil some more, couldn't we? Because otherwise this is going to take way more trips. And we're not thirsty at the moment. Being next to a supply of water, like, changes your whole dynamic with water. coming well. Eh, there's a little bit of a gap, but that's fine. You know, it's going to be a bit drafty come winter time. Does this need, this needs a long stick along the top. I was wondering why it was being a bit weird. also got this one that we can do mud bricks on. Lots of mudding that we can do. I'm very glad you can't like knock them over. Uh, one thing I will do though is I'll, I'll move the planks so that they're just slightly out the way. Because we will make more fire tools with them. Oh, you just end up dropping it on the ground. It doesn't get saved. That's annoying. Okay, let's 
go grab some more mud. I mean, you, you gather enough mud that you completely fill this whole thing in two, two bits. It's really quite a lot that we're scooping up. Like, this is as dirty as you can get without going out of your way to be ultra dirty. While that's filling with water, we could get some more long sticks. One more to go in there. I think it actually landed up on top. Let's go have a look. How is the mud coming along ready for mixing? It is indeed. few more and that bit will be done and then we'll move on to the window. We can probably run around this edge just as easily. One more bit will do. Yeah, I'm going to like it having the door there, I think. We are going to need a door in it, but that's a relatively minor point. Okay, let's get some more mud from the river. We must have, like, gouged out a pretty significant uh, chunk of the bed in doing this. Come. We need to turn some of our charcoal, which we've got loads, into campfire ash. Let's fill up the badoons. How are we doing on micros and stuff? No, we're good. Nothing to worry about. As long as we're not eating, being dirty doesn't matter. You know, it just, just affects our, our sense of self-worth. And it looks like five is the maximum stacks of filth that you can get on yourself. Oh, look at our arms. We are... We are properly minging, aren't we? Good. Lots of really good progress on this place. More mud. We'll uh, we'll save in a moment. Uh, yeah, take the mud. Next run down, we'll fill up the badoons as well. There's the mud. More campfire ash coming.
Okay, and in goes the water. Fill those up. And then we might take the time to get ourselves clean. If only so that we can, like, eat the fruit and, uh, and make sure it's not wasted. This is going to give us an opportunity for a different fireplace as well, which is kind of cool. One more, and then we'll see how we use this fire. Ah, look, it's got space for four things all around it. So, do we put the fire in? Look at that. That's going to be very cool. That is proper storage, that is. Well, we still need a stick for there um, and to finish off that wall as a whole, but I don't think we need to do that right now. Let's try and get these planks so they're not just being ultra weird. Okay, that one's fine. That one's fine as well. Uh, if we stand outside, we'll actually get clean. We may as well wash ourselves up and, yeah, have our fruit. Santi mushrooms give us a little bit of carbs. Uh, we can't see the watch because of the thing. Yeah, hydration is the biggest thing at the moment. So let's get the oranges. That's that's good enough actually. Do we have dried leaves? We have one thing of dried leaves. Let's get some more leaves. That's like my my biggest concern is that we're going to end up with nothing to light a fire with. There's that last long stick that we needed. Oh, actually, it just needed... Uh, Regular sticks. Okay. Well. Long stick can sort of come inside. Half drop it in the window. We'll bring the plank in as well. That will do. Okay. Well, we could start a fire um, and, yeah, let's start a fire, prepare some water, and uh, we'll be in a good place to get some rest before heading out. So, scoop these up. And grab you. 
get you drying. So we've got some more meat to take on the journey with us. So stingray meat all drying up. This stingray meat ready for the journey. Let's start a fire. We really don't need to eat the other coconut, but I need the bowls, so... That's going to take more of a precedence. Right, let's spill that out so that we can load it up. And we are doing the fill and transition. Clean water, clean water, that is all good. Okay, water is all clean. Nuts have got a couple of days on them, bananas have got a good day or so. I think we're in a very good place to prep our next expedition, really. Anything that we want to drop off before we go. Uh, extra bones. Uh, with... You know what? Let's... Let's harvest to get some bone needles. I'm not going to need that many, but I'd still rather have some than none. So we'll drop them there. Cat fan can come down. Uh, the leaf piles, they can be drying down here. That's fine. We don't need all this charcoal. Three bits of charcoal is fine. Obsidian stone... Regular stones all good. No, I think uh, I think we're we're pretty solid. All right, let's uh, let's get a little bit of sleep. One fifty in the morning. Such a great time to be heading out, eh? We could do with a little bit of everything. That's going to give us hydration and protein. Well, which I suppose we need. So that's fine. Uh, what I will do is... I'm going to drink this. Eat, eat. So that's filled us up. Let's go... Fill up the badoon and then we'll put that in the bowls so that there's an entire other thing of water ready. I think in the future what I'll do is I'll I'll have like four things of bone broth set up here and that'll be our return journey. But for right now. I will settle for just taking the water out. Okay, we've got enough water, we've got enough carbs, we've got some fats, we've got some protein. We're good to go. We'll probably only do another 10 minutes or so, so let's see what we can find in those 10 minutes. Now we 
been able to get up here before. Let's wait for our stamina to come back. There we go. So we've just cropped over here. Let's head south pretty much as far as we can and see what we find. Oh! There is a proper building over there. Got a leech on us. Not on that arm. Not on that arm. Not on that leg. Which means, there you are, you blighter. Be gone. Right. What is this place about? Watching out for snakes, of course. I'll take the parrot body for dismantling later. Yeah, this is a proper village. Mia, yeah. I found something. Some buildings. Buildings in the jungle. What kind of buildings? I don't know yet. Give me a moment. Let's grab the wheat bix. We might need to chow down on that in a moment. Grab some sanity mushrooms as well. That'll help offset the leech that was on us. Maybe I should sneak around. This is, this is not where I thought it was. I thought we were going south. Oh, but I suppose we did turn, didn't we? Okay, I'm just gonna grab the nuts. And then we'll talk. So, I'm still looking for climbing gear. Nowhere to be found, huh? Any ideas? Well, I have a map, a marker, notebook, and a sense of humor. Is that so? Staying positive is a first rule of survival. Everyone knows that. And what's the second? Uh, surviving, of course. Um, surviving, of course. Yes, yeah, you are the real expert. Okay, we've got another thing we can say. Those buildings I mentioned look like they're abandoned. Drug factory, maybe? Wait, wait, what? A drug factory? Here? Are you sure there's no one in there? No. Well, it does look like it was used recently. Please, be careful. Someone might return at any moment. Let's just step into the cage. Even found some cages. Someone was being held here. Any idea who it was? Um, a tribesman. I found some amulets here. Why would they lock up a tribesman? A war over territory, maybe. There's a village nearby. Maybe there's a conflict. I don't think they got along well. It's possible. All right, let's let's see what we can find here. Is there anything useful like tools or note? I can't read that. Oh my word. Ah, okay. Shred a bag of leaves with myrrh, pour acid and fertilizer all over. Need put in the barrels, pour gasoline. Oh, okay. Yeah. How to how to make cocaine. At least I would assume it's how to make cocaine, because I don't personally know. 
I mean, look at that. There is an axe here. We'll keep our current stuff, though, I think, rather than throwing something away. Rusty axe isn't going to help us much. Nice to know it is here, though. Oh, I wonder if we're going to learn how to make anything from this place. A grill rack. Long sticks and rope. Cool. Let's take the empty cans. Oh, we can... We can take the pot. And the spoon. Oh my god, we're going to feel so civilised. I am not going to use this as our base, though. We are not going to move into cartel territory. We, we are definitely taking these things back with us. I would assume the em empty cans we can fill with water. What's this? A water collector. Well, we're going to have to make one of those back at our base. Okay. Carrying on exploring the way we were properly exploring. So we're sort of doing a right wall hug around here. Candy bar. I will always take extras. Candy bar, another empty can. I am a little concerned that they might come back. They even have a microwave here. In the middle of the jungle? What for? I think they used it to dry out the drugs. It's uh, one of the steps in manufacturing narcotics. <laughs> right. Anything you can use? What? I don't want to get high out in the middle of the jungle. Jake, I meant tools and such. Um, no. Too bad. And what's this? Uh, this is the packing list. Outbreak again, production on hold. Most of the crew is dead. Oh, due to becoming sick. Take the empty cans. And a snack and some notes. Oh yeah, this is the money coming in. There is quite a lot of food here. And a bone knife and a mattress for sleeping. Okay, what do we not need? We don't need the toucan body. We don't need the parrot body. That's actually throw these a bit further away. Take the snack. I kind of want to take the bone knife, but our tools are fine right now. A letter. Dearest Marcella, I apologise for writing so late, but we're working around the clock. We barely have had time to grab something to eat or get some shut-eye. It's safer here in the jungle than in the city. The heat is annoying though, and there are bugs everywhere. I'm bitten all over, but I'm not complaining, the money's good. I already have half of what we need. I met a guy, Raul, who promised to help us. He said he knows smugglers who ferry people by boats. It's supposed to be safer than going by land. I'll have to pay him extra for getting me in touch with them, but don't worry, I'll take care of it. Soon I'll be able to come back to you and take you away from this hell. Wait for me and take care of yourself. Yours, Tiago. I wonder if Tiago made it. Oh, 
Okay, well, this has been quite the find. Um, we're not going to stick around here. I'm going to start heading back to the main base uh, and we'll drop off our pans and stuff. Oh my god, that's an actual plantation, isn't it? Uh, right, we need to go west. No, we need to go east. We need to go east. Don't want to go west. West would take us the wrong way. Uh, so let's uh, let's start this return journey. Definitely heard something out there that wanted to kill us. I sort of remember coming through here. I think it was up this bit. We'll eat these as we're passing for the extra carbs. It certainly helps with our hydration a little bit as well. Is this the right way? Can I take another coconut with us? It is the right way and I can take another coconut with us. Today is a miraculous day, everyone. Today is a good day. This is going to have the extra advantage of giving us more bowls at home. Which I love. We'll drink. We'll harvest. We don't have any space for it, so we'll just eat the bits and we'll keep the bowls here. Um, but I think that is going to be a really good place for us to finish off. Thank you so much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Green Hell. See you soon.